Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, the next act showed up. <laughs> this act has been in radio, this act has been in television, this act has been on record. As a matter of fact, this is the biggest has-been act <laughs> in the business. I'd like to say that this is one of the greatest acts in the world. I'd like to say that, but I'm just not that big a liar. <laughs> Here they are, direct from the bar, Homer and Jethro. He, he read that just like we wrote it. Yeah. Didn't he? We'd like to thank Archie Camel for that nice introduction. Boy, Archie is what I would call a fine gentleman. And he'd better be because that's what it said on the door I seen him coming out of. <laughs> we are Homer and Jethro, the Everly Brothers of the Stone Age. <laughs> this... Oh, you're all right. Thank, thank you. Thank I deserve you, it. <laughs> this little feller is Homer. My name is Jethro. And we're not brothers. My brother is living. Kind of wish I was. I don't know if you folks are familiar with what we do or not. We have what they call a singing act. And... This thing we're going to do tonight, this singing, it's in stereo. It hurts in two places at once. <laughs> and, <laughs> by golly. We ought to do something here. We got a, we got a great group back here. We have a wonderful band, Mr. Boots Randolph and the Carroll County Car Strippers. <laughs> and, well, they're a fine bunch of gentlemen, ain't they? They sure are. That Boots is probably one of the greatest, uh, well, he is, without a doubt. And you can figure that out for yourself later. Here's a tune we'd like to do that we had a record on back in, well, I don't remember when the record came out. I do remember it was on a cylinder. <laughs> it's a little thing called the shades of night were falling fast, but I got a pretty good look anyway. Don't let the stars get in your eyes if you've got water on the brain. Don't light the flame or you'll be the blame. A spark of love may take your breath. The water starts to streaming, your ears will start to steaming, and you'll percolate yourself to death. Too many fights, too many scars. Knots upon my head, two, three. Now, love was in bloom, then she lowered the boom, and now I wish that I was dead. She's got me educated, my eyes are granulated, cause she hit me with the sugar bowl. stars above because they come out every night her hair so fair she laid it on a chair because i see it laying there i cocked an eye at her she cocked an eye at me and we just set her cock out as could be don't let the stars get in your eyeball sockets Thank you. 
Well, thank you a lot for your sympathy. This sure is a nice, clean-looking bunch of people. I see one fella's got a nice haircut there, showing through his scalp. <laughs> well, uh, we just know uh, two songs, and we always sing one of them first. <laughs> Which one you want to do next? Let's do the other one. Uh -huh. <laughs> this little thing we'd like to dedicate to Jethro's wife. She's out in the car in the trunk. She's, uh, she's a blonde this week, and uh, I think she looks awful good in that new beach outfit you got for her. We had a little trouble on that the first day she wore it. Uh, it's a two-piece beach outfit, ain't it? Yeah, a shovel and a pail. <laughs> He's a little worried about his wife. Uh, she went out and got her one of these new sack dresses, and it fits her. And that's a lot to worry about, you know. This is a little tune called, uh, He Didn't Like Her Apartment, So He Knocked Her Flat. <laughs> oh, let me go, let me go, let me go, beloved. Let me scat like a cat away from you. You're too fat. In the first place, you know it's true. You're too fat in the second place, too. <laughs> when I said that, your bustle was cute as could be. You said, Homer, that's no bustle, that's me. <laughs> oh, turn me loose, please reduce. In your caboose, blubber, pound for pound, you're just too round for me. Don't talk over my solo, please. Don't play over my talking. She had nine buttons on her nightgown, but she could only fasten a Thank you, I deserve every bit of it. <laughs> you fellas have quit playing now, Jethro's mad, I think. What's the matter? Are you mad? No, I'm not mad. I'm used to having my solos interrupted and broken up like that. It doesn't bother me in the least. You mad, Shona? No, I'm not mad. I told you I'm not you mad. You sure you're not I'm mad? I'm not mad. You sure? All right, if it'll make you any happier, I am a little burned up over it. Well, you don't look mad. <laughs> I was doing real good up until the time Gang Green set in. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to finish that because it's very seldom that I get to play a solo. We'll take it at the letter A, boys. So feel free to lay out. Well, I, I think you better get back there in the band where you belong. I can't do it. They're union. <laughs> Could you play that last spasm again there, please? Same place, Floyd.
excuse me, I thought you was plenty wrong there at first. <laughs> that was a whole lot better, thank you. Thank you. When you had no, no, your... No, 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 no. You got me sound like Archie Campbell here. When you had your appendix removed at last, they didn't know whether to operate or blast. Oh, let me go, let me go, let me go, blubber. Set me free, you're just too much for me. Some people say a man is made out of dirt Bow-legged breeches and a humpback shirt Every man has his woman to make him tick Only the miner has his pick He loads 16 tons, how do you feel? Too tired to work, too scared to steal St. Peter, don't you holler for me today Cause I'm a digging the other way Uncle John was a miner, he was long and tall Chasing after women made him end it all He could never catch him, though he tried So old Uncle John laid down and died Hey buddy, you're late I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine I remember my mama was gone at the time The doctor looked down and said, oh my I wonder whether he's gonna walk or fly Well, I've shiveled, oh, well, I've shuffled this cold till my back is bent. My get up and go just got up and went. My wife ran away with my friend Jim. I don't miss her, but I do miss him. You know, 16 tons, what do you get? Slack in your pants and soaked with sweat. Tennessee Ernie done made this song, but the pea picker song, the word's all wrong.
Thank you a lot. You're good sports. That, uh, that was a tune called the Sea Jam Blues. Uh, we just wanted to hear it ourselves. And we got all these... We got all these musicians back here, and by golly, when you got help like this, you got to use them. And I want to tell you that we've worked with a lot of good bands in our time. Right now, I can't think of one of them outside of, well, we did work two days with Roy Acuff in 1933. <laughs> but uh, these guys are fine. I'll tell you, when Boots, you keep out of this. I thought I told you to wait in the truck. <laughs> hey, why, why don't you why don't you stand up and maybe somebody will recognize you and take you home? <laughs> Who sent what? you, Lonzo and Oscar? <laughs> huh? Lady, I tell you, when you watch everybody else and when they applaud, you join in. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, old Boots Randolph and the boys back here, when they heard that we were going to be here for this thing, why, all of these guys got together and they spent a whole week just making arrangements for us. And then, <laughs> it's true. And then our wives came with us and we had to forget the whole thing. a song here that we would like to have had a hit record on and I don't know if you're with me or again me ham we're going to do a song here that we've featured in all the leading motels from coast to coast and we've played in most of them and we sung in a couple of them too As I was walking down the street, a billboard caught my eye. The advertisements written there would make you laugh and cry. The signs were torn and scattered from the storm the night before. And as I read the things they said, why, this is what I saw. Smoke Coca-Cola, cigarettes, drink a Wrigley Spearmint beer. Kennel ration dog food keeps your wife's complexion clear. Chew chocolate covered mothballs, they always satisfy. Brush your teeth with life, boys, soap and watch the suds go by. Why don't you jump in there? I don't want to... I don't want to get all bruised up. There's a lot of you to bruise, too. I got one lousy solo that I sing, and I would like to do it if you don't mind. In fact, I would like to do it if you do mind. Are you so, ready? No, I'm Jethro. Well, all, I'm leaving. All I want you to do is just play the guitar for me and I'll do the rest, if you please. No, 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 no. Don't, you're running a picking hand there. Now, Homer, we might as well straighten this out here. a long here. time to train that. Yeah. As Ain't long... house broken, but I got it trained. I keep interrupting you. Now, as long as we've got a jury here, we might as well settle this thing. Have you folks reached a verdict yet? Uh, I don't like the jury system. That's I don't great. see how they can send six men and six women in a room all night and then come out and say not guilty. <laughs> I don't see what that's got to do with my solo. Well, I got to laugh anyway. They'll probably cut it out, too. <laughs> Steve, you wouldn't do that to me, would you? Can we get back to the subject oh. at hand now, my solo? All right, here you go. No, that's, that's what I don't want. Now, Homer, we've been working together, barring a few periods of unemployment from year to year, for the last 28 years. Jesus, it seems like 48. 
And it's possible during that time that you may have run out of anything else to do and you might have just glanced over here out of the corner of your semi-bloodshot eyes and noticed the way that I play this little mandolin. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> We're gaining on it. <laughs> anyway, if you notice when I play, I play all over the neck, I play up and down, I play all over the thing. I've noticed that for years you've been going up and down, up and, up and down. <laughs> Thank you. But you, when you play, you get one lousy chord, and there you stand. <laughs> Homer, what I'm getting at is, why don't you learn to play like I do? Well, you're hunting for it. I found it. <laughs> I don't think it was worth it. When I recovered from the shock, I went up on my way. I'd go no further than a block when there to my dismay Another billboard caught my eye and like the one before For There it is! Now solder it! <laughs> You're ready now, huh? No, I'm Homer. The wind and rain had done its work cause this is what I saw Oh, take your next vacation in a brand new Frigidaire Learn to play piano in your winter underwear And simonize your baby with a Hershey candy bars See the difference that Drano makes in all the movie stars Doctors prove that babies shouldn't smoke till they are three. People over 35, big baths and Lipton's tea. You can make this country a better place today. Just buy a record of this song and throw it far away. T I E D, Vel, Tide. Oh, tide. <laughs> Did, hey, uh, did anybody me... here buy that record? We sold one. We're trying to find out who bought it. <laughs> I guess not. Hey, uh, let me sing one by myself, will you? You think the world is ready for this? I don't know, but I am. <laughs> well, you got a lot of nerve. I mean, boy, uh, we got some pretty fair singers here in this crowd tonight. Grandpa Jones is here. <laughs> I see Jim Reeves out there. So, uh... Jerry you know, Bird's here. Jerry, well, he's not a singer exactly, is he? Well, he heard his last record and he turned singer now. He's... Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Ennis is here. We were talking about singers. Chet Atkins. I wonder what all these celebrities are doing here tonight. They're here for the 8th Annual Disc Jockey Festival, Homer. Oh, yeah. What's not that? only that? that, but they're freeloading. <laughs> But Who's that fella with all the whiskers? That ain't Grandpa, is it? No. That's Santa Claus in Technicolor. <laughs> How uh, you fix for blades, buddy? <laughs> I've seen more hair than that on a piece of bacon. Uh, Homer, now, wait, just... I, I was going to introduce your solo now. Let's leave the guy alone because he's got a deal back there. He's, he's going to do a commercial. Uh, the folks over at the International Harvester Company are going to uh, make up a special razor for this guy to use when he gets rid of that brush back there. Not only cuts the whiskers, it ties them up in little bundles. <laughs> so, <laughs> just think of that. We'll get back to this solo that my anemic little partner is going to do. He's very undernourished. That'll show you how bad business has been. In fact, it has been bad. I don't like to bring this up, but our agent was dead two years before we knew about it. <laughs> and we've had a lot of disappointments here in Nashville, I'll tell you, as a special feature of the disc jockey thing over there, why we were going to have a parade by our fan club, the Nashville chapter. And I don't know, they had to cancel it. One of the guys was sick and the other guy had to work. <laughs> So 
So hey, uh, hurry up before I get a beard like that guy out there. All yeah. right. I'll have to shave again. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You walking out? Get back in there. You're no better than the rest of them. <laughs> We're going to do a thing here called the Yellow Rose of Texas. There's a title for you. Oh, the Yellow Rose of Texas, the cutest on this earth. Her right eye looks at Dallas, her left one at Fort Worth. Her ponytail's a dandy, that hairdo is a prize. But it comes in handy when she's a switching flies. Her skin is red and fuzzy, it feels just like the peach. I looked her over from the head something. to toe and she... What are you doing? Clearing my throat, I swallowed a bug. <laughs> I ain't golly, it, ain't, it ain't bad either. <laughs> What's the next word? Her skin is red and fuzzy. Her skin is red and fuzzy. It feels just like a peach. I looked her over from my head to toe, and she had one of each. Her face has fallen arches. It hangs just like a sack. She'd like to have it lifted, but she doesn't have the jack. You guys had learned this. Oh, the yellow rose of Texas, she looks just like a weed. That one big upper tooth of hers looks like a pumpkin seed. And when she opens up her mouth, it looks just like a rake. Her lips are just like petals, petals on a break. I was a working in the garden when I discovered her. I reached for an old tomato, and darling, there you were. You can take your nice sturgeons and take your violets blue. And while you're at it, take the outer rolls of Texas, too. Thank you all. Thank you very much. We're going to do a thing here called the Yellow Rose of Texas. There's a title for you. Oh, the Yellow Rose of Texas, the cutest on this earth. Her right eye looks at Dallas, her left one at Fort Worth. Her ponytail's a dandy, that hairdo is a prize. But it comes in handy when she's a switching flies. Her skin is red and fuzzy, it feels just like the peach. I looked her over from her head something. to toe and she, What are you doing? Clearing my throat, I swallowed a bug. <laughs> I ain't golly, it, ain't, it ain't bad either. <laughs> What's the next word? Her skin is red and fuzzy. Her skin is red and fuzzy. It feels just like a peach. I looked her over from my head to toe and she had one of each. Her face has fallen arches, it hangs just like a sack. She'd like to have it lifted, but she doesn't have the jack. You guys had learned this. Oh, the Yellow Rose of Texas, she looks just like a weed. That one big upper tooth of hers looks like a pumpkin seed. And when she opens up her mouth, it looks just like a rake. Her lips are just like petals, petals on a break. I was a working in the garden when I discovered her. I reached for an old tomato, and darling, there you were. You can take your nasty sturgeons 
and take your violets blue. And while you're at it, take the outer rolls of Texas too. Thank you all. Thank you very much. I'd like to do you a tune now that we have a soft spot on our heads for. It goes like this. Deep within my heart lies a man. Y'all. Y'all didn't know you was applauding for that, did you? Well, in 1959, we took a little hike With our scout master down the lake of Nika Nike We took a little pizza and we took some sauerkrauts We marched along together till we seen the Girl Scouts We're the boys from Camp Cucamonga Our mother sent us here for to study nature's ways We learned to make sparks by rubbing sticks together And if we catch some girls, then we'll set the woods ablaze well, we crept up to the water and we seen the girls a swimming. They must have been a hundred of them, pretty young women. They looked so fine, even birds forgot to sing. We laid down in the poison oak and didn't say a thing. We're the boys from Camp Cucamonga. Our mother sent us here for to study nature's ways. We learned to make sparks by rubbing sticks together. And if we catch some girls, then we'll set the woods ablaze. You want to pick a little? You'll never get rich <laughs> Tell that drummer to hold it down He's drowning me out up here I think he's trying to start his own show <laughs> Buddy Hold it down Hold it buddy. down just a little buddy Would you? you can be replaced you know Just hold it down just a little more I can still hear you <laughs> Well, the counselor said we could take them by surprise If we didn't say a word till we looked them in the eyes We kept real still and we had our eyes aglued We seen how they were dressed, they were swimming in the well They ran through the briars and they ran through the brambles And they ran through the bushes where a rabbit couldn't go They ran so fast even we couldn't catch them From Lake Anika Nike all the way to Buffalo Well, we marched around till everyone was pooped we rested for a minute and our forces we regrouped. Then we seen the girls behind some evergreens, captured by a company of United States Marines. We're the boys from Camp Cucamonga. Our mother sent us here for to study nature's ways. We learned to make sparks by rubbing girls' sticks. Oh. <laughs> rubbing sticks together. And if we catch some girls, then we'll set the woods ablaze. <laughs> Thank you very much. That uh, is one of our favorite tunes. And by golly, that was our last big hit record. It was our first one, too. <laughs> I beg your pardon. We had a hit way back in, uh, mm, let's see, what year was that? BM, wasn't it? Before Money, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'd like to do a thing here that we recorded several hey, years ago. Hey, let's get the folks to help us on this. All right, we've got some good singers out here. I wish we could sing like they're going to, and I hope they are because they're well oiled tonight. <laughs> the vocal cords are in good shape. I seen one fellow walking out there, and some guy stepped on his fingers while they go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he drank till I seen him sober one time. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to do a thing I here. Think, I, think you ought to, I think you ought to quit drinking so much too, Jethro. I'm going to quit drinking, Homer, just as soon as I can find some better way to get it down. <laughs> uh. 
We're going to do this tune here if it takes all night, and at the rate we're going, I think it will. We're going to do How Much Is That Hound Dog in the Winter, and you folks, we want you to bark. <laughs> now, bark on cue, or else bark when we tell you to. They ought to bark pretty good. I was eating all that dog food they had on that table back then. <laughs> We'd like to apologize for one thing here at the club. We had planned to have a chicken dinner tonight, but it got well. So. <laughs> We're gonna do this tune now. We might rehearse this a little bit. I'll tell you, we'll all, uh, we'll start out together and if we get lost while we'll all meet in the bar. Here we go. Maybe we ought to just go out there now and skip it. No. Is that a hound dog in the winter? That's the worst I ever heard. <laughs> I never seen so many tin ears in one bunch. <laughs> what happened to you, Grandpa? Let's try that again for size. Hey, there they go. Dale Wood, you bark on this too. I like the new shade of hair you got this week. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that hound dog in the winter? I do hope that flea bag's for sale. That's pretty good. How much is that hound dog in the winter? The one with a long mangy tail. I'll give you two bits for that hound dog. Though Not there. <laughs> Wait till I pull your chain. Where was it? The one with the sad ache in the heart, that's it. For he looks so much like my girlfriend. I can't hardly tell them apart. Everybody skate. I must take a trip to Louisiana, leave her and that hound dog alone, while I'm eating shrimp and jambalaya, they'll be home and gnawing a bone, I don't want a monkey or a baboon, I don't want an old muley cow, I don't want a crappie or a catfish, a catfish could never meow. Excuse me, that was a poodle. Thank you very much. I just wish you would leave that out tonight, if you don't mind. What's the matter? Ordinarily, I don't mind it, but tonight the alcohol is kind of irritating my eyes. Son Les and Paul there, didn't it? <laughs> These guitars are just like a woman. If you want them to work, you gotta keep fooling with them all the time. <laughs> How much? Where you at? <laughs> Aren't you gonna sing with me? You in tune now? We only been here two days. That wouldn't give you time enough to tune up before we come out here to work, see? You, you didn't get what I was doing. I hope not. When I rolled a string down there, I did I just throw that in there for a little joke. <laughs> okay, Dutch. Okay, Somebody Dutch. Somebody cancel his card. Put on your shoes and out. <laughs> That's embarrassing, ain't it? Yeah. Not you only that, but you wasted a good there. drink. <laughs> now, I was just going to say... I said I'd throw that in for a little joke before the glass fell. Well, Homer jokes that little before the glass fell. It shouldn't be out this late at night. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't you like that joke? I've always liked it. Yeah? 
Matter of fact, that's one of my father's old jokes. He used to pull it all the time. You know, I'll bet you're one of your mothers, you know. <laughs> How do you like that? 28 years I've been working with an idiot. Ah, uh, that's all right. You'll get used to it. I did. <laughs> I think we're ready to sing again. We have Dutch. Are you ready? Out of boy. Get your glass ready, Dutch. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Coffee, you'll get sick. <laughs> Y'all ready to bark? How much is that hound dog in the winter? <laughs> With a basketball nose on its face. You know what a basketball nose is. It dribbles all over the place. We got to start thinking about getting out of here, so we'd like to uh, do a tune here now. It's kind of a... Hey, what time is it? I don't know exactly. I have quarter to nine, I believe it is. I got a quarter to something. I lost the hour hand off my watch. <laughs> I have more trouble with my watch. I was out at Grandpa's farm this afternoon. And I was going through the sheep barn out there, and I dropped it in the sheep dip, and it killed the ticks. <laughs> We'd like to pay tribute at this time to a very young and popular Confederate soldier <laughs> by the name of Elvis Presley. And Elvis, as you know, many years ago had a tune that was a big hit called... Hey, uh, I see where Elvis... Will you keep out of this for just one minute? I see where he's going to get out of the service pretty soon. Okay, so we'll be back on our own again. <laughs> anyway, Elvis had a tune called Heartbreak Hotel. Hey, how do you, you like your room down at the hotel? I got one overlooking. Overlooking what? I don't know. I don't have a window and I can't tell. <laughs> They, got a, they put some newlyweds in the room next to me last night. I didn't get much sleep. I was up all night with my brazen bit. <laughs> Elvis had a record. <laughs> Elvis had a record? No. Elvis had this record. And... He called it Heartbreak Hotel, and we did the same tune, and bless you. You better get some distemper shots, buddy. <laughs> I believe he's allergic to us, you know. Wonder how that'll be in stereo. <laughs> I can just see it now, going from one speaker to the other. <laughs> This is a stereo audience. They keep going from one door to the other. What this place needs is a good shortcut. <laughs> oh, we're getting sleepy now. Well, that's a big cribbage board up there. <laughs> we're going to do Heartbreak Motel now. And uh, are you stomping somebody? <laughs> I'll tell you how to get rid of them. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll start this thing out together, and uh, I hope that we all wind up in the same city. Well, I checked into a motel. My room, it was so small. Every time I tried to smile, my teeth would touch the wall. And I'm a-staying, and a-paying. I ain't got room to change my mind. Well, I picked up my telephone. The manager said, hello. He said, what's eating you? I said, that's what I'd like to know. And I'm aging and a scratch. I'm wearing out my fingernails. I 
I walked up to the room clerk He looked at me and said You can have a room But you will have to make your bed I said that's okay buddy I learned that from my mom And he reached out and handed me A hammer and a saw And I'm a nailer And a whaler Here at the Heartbreak Motel Here at the Heartbreak Motel I got a room with bath Back home I only had a room And it just had a path This outside plumbing Is unbecoming It's really out of this world dining room filled my heart with beer cheer said I would enjoy it cause I could eat dirt cheap here and he was so right that was my last night and now 